Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week, and uh, here we are, another day, another review. Welcome, one and all. Hope you're doing all right today. Hope you're having a nice one. And uh, we are here, late afternoon, I would say. Not quite sunset, like, you know, pre-sundown. Um, that's when I'm filming this, anyway. But, uh, certainly taking in the uh, late afternoon, uh, trying out a new item from Papa John's here. So we're going to be trying this out in a minute. Um, before anything else, before even we give any sort of bombastic introduction to the uh, item itself, and you could also enjoy the review with some uh, ASMR uh, traffic noises. Uh, that was a huge request, I know, so I made sure to get that included as well. Uh, I did just want to give a quick shout-out to uh, S.E. Sprocker. She is the author of the fantasy fiction novel Chewy Marmot, uh, which is now available on Amazon. You might say, well, why did you uh, give that shout-out? Reason being, uh, if you're interested too, I'd be happy to give you a shout-out as well. Uh, on my Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash the report of the week, I have a special tier where I'll shout you out. I could shout you out, shout anything I really, uh, anything you really want me to uh, in a review, and I'll go ahead and do it, but you could check that out if uh, you're interested. Um, but make sure you uh, you check out her book there. So uh, with that, all things aside, there um, we have this we have this item that I think is truly revolutionary. It's from Papa John's, and you know they have a couple new releases here and there. Uh, granted, I think this does seem to be a big time for releases in terms of uh, pizza places. You know, Domino's they have their new pizza out. Little Caesars has something out that I might give a shot at some point. Um, even Pizza Hut. It's not a new pizza, they have some sort of deal. So, of course, you know, Papa John's is getting in on the action. Uh, they see all their fellow, you know, colleagues, right, out there releasing stuff. They said, well, you know what? We're going to go above and beyond. When people get pizza, what do they always like to get it with? Right, you get pizza, and then what do you get with the pizza? Breadsticks? No. You know, that's... Wings. They get wings. They get chicken wings. And uh, Pizza and Wings is a big accompaniment. I always get wings with pizza because I just like chicken wings and I like pizza, so why not? Um, Papa John's is saying, we're going to reinvent the chicken wing. We're not just going to get a new type of wing. We're going to redesign it. We're going to reinvent it. We are giving chicken wings a new identity. Hear me out. They say, and I quote directly from their website, the grilled buffalo chicken, Papadilla, is an easier to eat alternative to buffalo wings. Uh, so here's what it is, in truth. I tried one of their Papadillas out earlier in the year. I guess it was a couple months ago. Whenever they did it, I think it was like the Philly um, cheesesteak one. It was, it was okay. It was like, you know, they had a pizza, and then they put everything on it, and then they fold it over. You know, and it's like a case of the Papa Deer, right? Papa sized, the big, you know, big Papa John, right? Named after him, so uh, that's why they call it the Papa Deer. Uh, this is the grilled, the, the the grilled buffalo chicken variant of this. So here's what it has on it: it's got grilled chicken, onions, signature cheese, ranch, buffalo sauce, right? That's the big selling point. It's baked into dough, and then folded over. You're gonna see it in a minute. Um, so it's supposed to be like a sandwich, but a pizza, but a sandwich, but, but it's like a pizza, but it's also like chicken wings now, and it's an easier to eat alternative to chicken wings, and uh, it's just everything. It's, it's the universe, uh, life itself is in there, truth be told, all available for $6. So the secrets of the universe, all yours from the uh, Papa John's uh, for just 6 bucks. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to just, you know, I guess easy to eat, kind of like a sandwich. Have a little bit of that onion, have a little bit of that spice, um, a little bit of that cooling ranch as well. But, you know, it's just like how I always get my chicken wings. You know, I always get it with cheese on top of the wings, and then I get the, the ranch and I dump that on too, and I always wrap, I, I actually get like a, you know, one of the slimy onion strings, and I'll, I'll wrap it around the chicken wing itself, and then I'll eat it like that. So, they really, they know me. They know how I get them. This is the little Papadilla box, and uh, I haven't even looked in here yet. You can see I actually got this delivered, got it, um, contactless delivery, and they put the little piece of tape, so they say, what do they say on it? Quality sealed. Alright. This is when I'll use the talons of mine. 
Right, now, I don't want to do that. I just want to peel the tape off. We'll do that instead. Like that. And, uh... Oops, I missed the spot. You know what they say, right? What do they say? I don't really know. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just fussing around with that longer than I should have been. Uh, there you have it. Ranch dipping sauce. Comes with some extra. Got the little pepper as well. Sometimes what I'll do now is I'll get the stem and I'll tuck it into my collar on my shirt there. Wear it as like a decorative, you know, little ornament. I wonder if any of those trucks that we hear going by are like full of papadillas, right? What if they are? Uh, let's get a uh, shot of me with the with the goods, right? There I am with it, staring into your soul. I'm, I'm looking, you know, I Papa D is staring into your soul too, <laughs> but you can see what it looks like right there. Two halves, you can see some of the buffalo sauce as well. Decently sized though, decent size. Still piping hot, all right. That's it, right there. And then you can see it's kind of... Yeah. It's like that. You can see how it is, right? They get the dough, they fold it over. Again, there's that sauce. Um, close up. And uh, that's what it looks like, so... We know what's in it. You know what's in it. We all know what's in it. Kind of reminds me of like a... I don't know, a little bit of like a calzone, almost like Pizza Hut's derivative. You know, it's also like a quesadilla, but it's a papadilla, and it's... Well, you know what it is. Let me quit wasting time here and let's get into this. Uh, trying out the grilled buffalo chicken papadilla from Papa John's. It's going in. Just a cross section. Two more bites here. Not bad. Not bad, to tell you the truth. What we'll do a little later on is we'll open this up and we'll see how the ranch dressing plays out. It does have a spiciness to it. Yeah. It does have a real kick to it, I gotta say. Sometimes, you know, we'll get these, uh, these spicy items that are like buffalo or, you know, hot pepper or something. And you don't really need any, um... You know, you don't need any sort of water or drink or anything, or you don't need to take the ice cubes and just, you know, shove them down whole or anything. Um, but in this case, it does it does pack a little bit of a punch because there's a lot of buffalo sauce on this, let me tell you. Two things that there's a lot of that I notice on the uh, buffalo chicken papadilla, both in a good way. You know, sometimes it's like they'll load something up to excess and it's just too much and it doesn't really work out that well. Um, but in this case, two things that they have a lot of, a lot of buffalo sauce, which is good, and they also have a lot of chicken, which is also good. These are the two things that are really, uh, I'd say, integral to the item, in that, well, what's the name of it? The grilled buffalo chicken papadilla. You want the chicken, you want the, the hot sauce, and that's what most of the, uh, the thing really is. Uh, and that's a good thing. Chicken is grilled, is grilled of course. Um, it's in little, like, I would say, cubes and kind of slices, um, but it's good. You get chicken in every single bite. I mean, every, every bite. Uh, they do not, they do not put a small amount of chicken on this, which is good though, because you get lots of it. It's good, you can definitely tell that it is grilled chicken, but it's not dry either. Um, the buffalo sauce, it builds up progressively, so 
you take one bite, it's not going to be that much. Take another bite, you'll be okay. But then the more you eat it, um, definitely the more spice that kind of envelops you and, and gets in there. So that's, that's a big observation. You know, one thing that I really don't notice a ton of, uh, the cheese is kind of just there. I wouldn't necessarily describe this as cheesy. I would say it's more like spicy chicken. Not like buffalo wings, that's buffalo sauce, but you, you know, it's kind of silly to kind of say this is like buffalo wings, but it's not really that cheesy to me. And the onions, while they are there, uh, at least in my case, I could smell the onions a lot more than I could really taste them. Like they are there, I even, I even see an onion right now. Then I taste it, and it gives a little bit of potency. But let me tell you, when I got this delivered, and I sat it on the table for a minute as I was just getting the lighting all set up and everything, and then I came out and filmed, uh, I could really just smell that onion. I couldn't smell the sauce, I couldn't smell the chicken, I couldn't smell anything else. But gosh, that onion uh, was so incredibly potent, so just because that was all I could smell, I thought, oh wow, well, you know, this is going to be really heavy on the onion. But as a matter of fact, that's one thing that I can't taste as much as... So if you smell this, and it's like just total onion land, right? Uh, just know that it might not be as, as heavy on it as you would think. Now, as for the ranch sauce, that's one thing that I kind of taste like a tiny bit, but I don't really taste it at all. Um, I noticed there being a lot of uh, buffalo sauce, but not ranch, so that's why I made sure to get some extra ranch, which they recommend. Uh, so, let's just try a little bit here. And uh, remember value for this? Six uh, buckaroonies, as they say. I'd say that the uh, extra creamy ranch isn't uh, isn't necessary. It's not something that's required, you know, to make this item, I would say, better or anything. If you like ranch, you know, it'll be okay. It doesn't really have too much of an effect on this. Um, it doesn't have too much of a cooling effect, at least in this case. It's just kind of there. If you like ranch dressing, get it. It's free. Um, but by no means is that essential for this. So overall, I would say the item is decent. I think it's definitely for you, if you just want something to eat kind of like a sandwich, uh, have definite spice, a lot of chicken in there, I'd say it's worth trying out anyway. Um, it's kind of like a buffalo chicken pizza, kind of, you know, it's yeah, on the edge of that, I would say. But it's, it, I'd say it's worth checking out. It's really a harmless item. It's not that bad. It has a little bit of a spice to it. So, uh, out of 10, I would give it a, a 7 out of 10. Certainly a little bit above average. Not perfect by any means, but still decent for what it is. That's all that we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Please be safe, be healthy, and do take care. Today we tried out the grilled buffalo chicken papadilla from Papa John's. See you next time.